start here from Mankiewicz. Yeah, it's really, really good. good start. Just going Just off for a bit of a towel. Towel white. Yeah, it's a big push from Makin. Five game balls to take this opening set. Game five, game ball. Good strength around the middle. He's fired up here, the Welshman. In the three meetings that they played prior to this evening, John Makin has only won one game. That was back in 2019 in the Grasshopper Cup. Interestingly enough, it was making that one the game that he won. He actually won the first game, so not unfamiliar territory for making. So <laughs> 11-5. Well, game to Macon. Joel Macon is quite quiet off the court, letting rip. But it's quite funny, really, the contrast between these two. You've got oh, Ali Farag, who's trying to lob and drop his way in. Making staring down Sheldon Anderson. Making trying to give it such a wallop. Hand just out. trying to somehow warm it up. <laughs> Nine seven. Well, he's got himself in a terrific position here. It's a wrong shot selection. Very rare do you see that from Farag. Hard rally here. Very yeah, testing rally physically. It's got to be the king of the pressure session, the they make it. Missed opportunity here for Farag. Yeah, it's a big miss. He's got Ali Farag in a real Tangle. predicament. Down. Just caught the top of the tin, and that is a very rare sight from making it out. 3 5. <laughs> I wonder, Peach, if Farag does convert this. Joel making ask for a new ball. 100%. 100%. I bet you have three teeth of lightning on it. <laughs> There's the error again. 10 7. Looking back at Sheldon ball. Anderson, he's not happy about the movement of Joel making. Three game balls for Farrak. The only real question is how quickly will he ask for a new ball? Struggling to find the length. Be careful there. Yeah, he was a bit laissez faire, I thought, Farag, with that boast. Hand out, 8 10. Game ball. Oh, he's gone for it there, and that's how it changed, all from that boast. All from the poor boast from Ali Farag when he was serving at 10-7. Joel Makin has ripped another cross-court nick, his second of the match, to take this into a tie-break. Anything can happen, it becomes a lottery. Down. He's made an error, Joel Makin kicks the ball, he's absolutely steaming out there. Massive opportunity now. Tidy. Oh, he's dive! He's dive! He's dived again! This is unbelievable! is ridiculous from Joel Makin. We see it time and time again. He's, <laughs> goodness Probably gracious me. The sweat marks. The skid marks are everywhere. He's come in here, there's the shot. There's the first one. He gets back up like a press up. Back wall boast dive, slams in the side wall, and he's back up for another one. Second match ball. Oh, he's done it! 
job Aikin's done it. He's had a massive result here. He's overcome Ali Farag. I mean, that was beyond impressive from Aikin. Really very aggressive, thoughtful squash from the Welshman. I was frustrated going into it. I've lost in too many quarterfinals now, and I'm not yeah. happy uh, staying around there. I don't want to be there, and I had a lot of, I brought a lot of intensity to the start of the match, and I took it to him. You know, I didn't, I don't want the match being everyone saying great shot, clapping each other's shot. You know, yeah. I wanted to take it to him, get across the middle, and you know, dominate a bit of the court. So yeah, I thought I, that was what I was happy with there, to be fair. Oh, what a shot. Oh, oh. Seven, love. John Fuego here, Olivia Fichter. Hand out, one seven. That's not oh, going to be a let. Nine game balls for Olivia Fichter. Well, there's the error. Quick fire please. first game in favour of Olivia Fichter. I don't think anyone would have predicted that. She's gone in there again. Well, that looked a very tired movement into the Eight. front right. Yeah, so Fichter sees blood here, Lee. Everything is working for Victor. That's a smart choice. See what though, Victor's got Nine to get back to seven. basics. What she can't do is just throw the ball into the the front of the court. Especially when Fichte has been so impressive up in yeah. front. That's where she wants to play from. Oh, my not goodness, up. not up. Oh, so we I mean, this game is very four. impressive. 11-8, game to Sobi. Well, there you go, from nowhere, from the brink, Amanda Sobi has dug incredibly deep and closed out that game. I thought that would be the last place so we would want to put the ball. Oh, oh again, that right corner lead. Yeah. 11 9. Well, that's a huge feature. victory for Olivia Fichter. Three games to two. What a match between these two Americans. 8 11. 11 3. 8 11. 11-9. Well, both players having to dig incredibly deep. Uh, Olivia Fichter getting over that finishing line, and it's nice to see from Amanda Sobi. Game to Shrabagi. Shrabagi leads. One game to love. Eight one. Eleven five. Game to Wilstrup. One game all.
and out. 6 8. Abelgar, one game all. Down. Eight four. Eleven four. Game to Wilstrup, two games all. Wow, James. <laughs> it was quite, quite surreal, really, because we saw you in San Francisco. You'd arrived there as, as trying to get into the tournament as a reserve because of your ranking. Didn't work out for you, right. and you made the most of it. I mean, just talk us through a little bit yesterday and, and obviously the result you've just played today against Habelga. Oh, I don't know, really, Joey. I mean, ugh, it's just, uh, you know, like you say, training must have gone pretty well in San Fran, and I was doing some coaching, doing some play training. I, you know, just trying to get myself together. And August wasn't brilliant, so I've just just been trying to recover. But yeah, I just don't know. It must be the experience or something. It's just great. I mean, I just I love playing, so I try and keep myself in shape. And I just have to be a bit careful with the sessions that I put in because it takes a bit more out of you now. But um, yeah, if, if I if I apportion it really carefully, I can get into a, obviously I can get to that that level, which is a high level. So it's it's absolutely brilliant. Nor El Shabini taking on Hanya El Hamami. No. It's another battle between these two. It's very rare that Nor El Shabini does actually play somebody younger than her, but uh, Hanya El Hamami has been battling on the PSA world. So I'd say that her, her level hasn't been quite to where it should be. But when we look towards the women's draw, it's fantastic to see some new names involved. Oh, that's good. Threatening the drop already. Well, it's well done, it's well moved. You wouldn't be too and disappointed three, with that two. rally if you were Nora El Shabini because she's applying a lot of pressure. See that ball is, oh, that was unfortunate. That ball is dying though in the back corner, so it tells us the, play, the court is playing a little colder t today. There you go, there's the feistiness of Hania El Hamami. And out, seven on. Again, it's her movement to be able to hold up in front of the opponent like that. Oh, such quality from Noel Shabini. Rating that ball perfectly. Great 
great position, just thumps that ball down the line, glues it to the sidewall. It's good from Hamami, she's spending so much time up on the volley. That's the, I think that's the difference, Lee, in this game. Oh, she's rolled it, of course she has. It's what she does. Forehand, backhand, doesn't matter. Results the same. It's a big move from Noel Shavini. She's got a four-point lead here. Down. 9-4. Brilliant. It's all from the pressure into that front of the court. Oh, wow. Oh, that's brilliant. What's the shot? 12, 10. Huge reaction from Hamami. She's also asking for a new ball that she's allowed to do. the error again physically she's not able to hold the position she needed she and didn't get low enough 10-5 match ball mightily impressive so far stroke to okay. well, we're going wait, for wait. a review <laughs> Trevini definitely not agreeing with this one well let's have a look at this Stayed tightly. Line to the left. Mm, there you go. It's always a shame to finish a rally or a match on a stroke, but that was brilliant. That was a classy performance by Hania El Hamami. It's finals night tonight, the US Open. 2021. Well, the race for the world number one spot, you've got Norel Shabini that's dominating the women's tour. Norongo Har is not that far behind. Now, with the fact that Shabini was taken out slightly earlier in the event, I mean, it's imperative for Gohar yeah. to look for these points. Oh, what a shot. What a guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's dangerous, that, that area. Uh, that's double. That's a good call, yeah. I think, from the referee. Impressive rally from both players, showcasing their movement, but also their ability to take those balls in short. Yeah, go hard at 32. Oh. <laughs> oh, she did, you. Yeah, she didn't get that. Was and out of the bullet. Oh, it's a good shot. It's a clever shot by Hamami. She's been using the straight ball a lot, and she she sucked Gohar in with and that initial movement. Video referee decision on Hamami's appeal. Well, we're going to have a look to see whether the ball's come round far enough. Just hang on, we're going to review it. She hits cross court. She probably hits her. That's a big decision. Stroke for Hamami. 11-9, game to Hamami. Hamami leads one game to love. Down. Oh, it's glued. Wow, this is impressive from Gohar. Rattled Ten off five nine, consecutive points really ball. quickly. Six consecutive points. Yeah. Very good reset. Down. Well, the error from Hamami. She'd had bits very patient building the rally. Five love. But just a bit jumpy on this volley drop. Good win. 
Oh, oh. she's in. <laughs> Somehow she <laughs> scrambled that up. Well, there you go. That's going to be it. That's going to be the match. 11-3. Match to go hard. Well, there you go. Confirmation one. of it. Noren Goha, the Nine defending 11, champion, has claimed back-to-back -back titles. Noran, two-time U.S. Open champion. What do those words mean to you? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just very emotional. Uh, I can't really uh, put it in words, actually. Uh, that's the first time ever uh, for me to win back-to-back uh, -back titles, and uh, what a better place to do it than here in Philly. I mean... Uh, uh, I've always had good feelings. I remember actually my first World, Tour, World Series uh, tournament to play ever was here in US Open. And, uh, I was 15 years old at that time and I was super excited to be on the glass court. Uh, and yeah, I never, I never imagined winning it two times, uh, honestly. So uh, I'm just super happy with it. have two players coming into this obviously the age gap is considerable you're looking at nearly 13 years between them Tarek Momin who's as quick as he's ever been and they're looking for their first platinum title Down. it's a gift a bit of relief for Tarek Momin so a bit of a scare in the mid stage of this first game but he's now regained his composure and settled down Oh, my word. Look at the coverage there for a moment. <laughs> Back in the rally. Got that as well. It's clever. It's a dancing around moment. Down. 11 it's a Tarek moment. Game to moment. Moment leads one game to love. Starts off this final. In a very positive manner. He's three points behind in this second game. And, and we, it will feel like a real mountain to climb for him, Joey, should well, he lose this second. Well, I mean, it, well, if it, he's just not made any silly unforced errors in this and second game nine, moment. Five. Yeah, but he's moved the ball around beautifully. He has, it's been so accurate, look at that. Still trails by two games to love, but he's starting to creep into the head of Tarek Moment here. Not seen many errors from Moment. Look at the squeeze. That ball is absolutely, absolutely glued to the sidewall. That was very, very tight. So Mustafa Asal, <laughs> out of nowhere, is serving with two game balls to keep his hopes alive here in Philadelphia. Well, he's still chopping that it in. That is an unbelievable shot. What a shot from moment. It's one of his best shots, Joey. Well, you just, I mean, the, the floating backhand Hello. drop shot. I mean, the balance Nine, was ten. beautiful. He was covering Game as well. Ball. He was flying after he played this shot. He was right in behind. Watch. So he plays the shot and he covers brilliantly if there is going to be a response. Yeah. Not getting the width. Again, he's struggling here. Oh, How's he done that? How's he done that? How's Mustafa Asal done that, PJ? Got round the movement. It's a good movement there from Asal to get round. Ridiculous. That's a ridiculous shot from Moment. Ah! No, let. Oh, oh, no. There is He's not got... a review. Yeah, Mr. Asal, you do not have a review available. The ball... Oh, just stays in. It's gone for it. To He's got the stroke. It's his first He's stroke. stroke. It's his first stroke. Oh, oh, stroke decision. Mustafa Asal's got his first stroke in the whole of the match. He's reviewing it. Yeah, there's no way he can play this. He would. He would. Well, he'd have. He would. Have, he, would have, he would have given him a, a hell of a haircut if he did. Stroke to Asal. Well, upheld. here we have it. 12-10. This uh, the return of the raging bull, Mark II. Again. Oh, 
Oh, my goodness me. That is unbelievable. <laughs> That's just a joke. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> he's got quicker and quicker. I mean, the amount of work he's having to do here, and somehow he's turned that rally on its head. Tariq Moman was in complete control. Win this. He's got seven championship balls here, Mustafa Assal. And there it is, he's broken it. Mustafa Assal, honestly, three games it is a joke what he's done. It's unbelievable what he's done. It's fantastic stuff from Assal. He was too loved down, looking dead and buried. Tarek Moment, who's been at outrageous. Mustafa Assal is doing, I mean, how's he doing that, PJ? That is unbelievable. I keep saying unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, the celebrations are always a little bit bizarre because they're slightly delayed. Mustafa, your first ever platinum title and the youngest player to ever win the US Open. How do you feel? Wow, well, uh, it's an unbelievable feeling uh, this week as well, you know. Uh, I have all the respect to Tori. Tori was too loved up and uh, it, I think it was a great battle today. I hope you enjoy it. I was, uh, I was having like, so much three twos in uh, the last couple of days, and uh, I cannot believe it till now. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, for having me this tournament as well. I was having problems before the tournament uh, that I will enter, or uh, I couldn't. But like, uh, hopefully, I managed to to win the title.